Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. This is a side of my home office, by the way, that you guys typically don't see because I'm typically shooting my videos with a webcam on the desk there pointing in that direction. Uh, so today I'm mixing it up a little bit uh, because it's easier to show the tech from this direction. Um, so what I wanna show today, super, super quick video, hopefully. Um, it's about a really useful app called Unified Remote. It's actually a piece of software. And if you have a computer running Linux, like my laptop, which is also an Ubuntu machine, as well as my desktop, I run uh, Ubuntu on all my computers for many years, absolutely love it. Um, and I have an Android uh, smartphone. So if you're looking to control, if you wanna use your phone as a remote control, it makes sense that it would work because Android is after all a fork of uh, Linux. So it is pretty good and Unified Remote works really, really nicely. So rather than show the tech, I wanna show you guys how easy it is to work. So this is my, this is how I personally am using it at the moment. This is my laptop. I mentioned in some of my videos, I'm improving my Hebrew by watching a lot of uh, Israeli TV with Hebrew captions translated. And if you're watching TV for long hours on your laptop, it's kind of uncomfortable to have to, you know, move into the keyboard every time you want to make a change or pause or unpause. So Unified Remote, the way it works is really straightforward. You download a small Debian file. This is again for Ubuntu. It's like three or four megabytes and you install that on your Ubuntu computer. Um, it does have an auto start permission. So every time your computer will start, the server is gonna start, and it's just gonna run in the background. And then you need to install, of course, the corresponding app on your phone. Now there's two ways that the client on your phone or whatever you wanna use as a remote control, you could also use a Android tablet, uh, but a phone works great for me. Um, that you need to install, obviously, the app, which is gonna talk with the server. Now you can have multiple servers running on your local network. For instance, I have a server on this laptop, and I've also just installed a unified remote server on my media center, which is also running Ubuntu. And basically when you connect to one of the computers, it'll give you the, the option in the app based upon the name of the computer. So it's gonna say, do you wanna to connect to laptop? Do you wanna to connect to home media server? And you just go into the computer that you want to control remotely. Um, that's pretty much it. There is a uh, premium version of the app, which unlocks some more features. I haven't yet checked out what it does, but uh, I'm pretty happy with the free version. So there's two ways to connect. One of one of them is over the local area network. So for that to work, obviously your controlling device, in this case, my Android phone and your, uh, what you want to control, I think I just unpaused it by mistake for a second, are gonna have to be on the same local area network. So if you have um, them, you know, one your, your media center on ethernet, your laptop on Wi-Fi and your phone on Wi-Fi, that's perfect, they're all gonna be able to talk to one another. The other option is Bluetooth. Bluetooth is a little trickier to get to work. I've never got it to work out of the box. There is a little uh, page for, you can see the server status, and it says for me that Bluetooth isn't working. I remember fixing it before, but to be honest, I'm not really gonna bother because Wi-Fi just works well enough for my needs. So I'm happy to stick with Wi-Fi, and of course with Wi-Fi, uh, you don't need to worry about the close field range limitation of Bluetooth once you're on the same network wherever your computer and control device are, it should be good. So finally, let me show you guys how it works. So here's the phone, and I've gone into the basic input tab on Unified Remote. So this basically allows me to use my Android phone as a surface for tapping, just as you would if the phone is in front of you. And I'm gonna put my laptop up on my uh, screen. I hope you guys can see that. So this is, this is me, this is it. This is me watching TV uh, in my living room, let's say, and I want to pause. Pa hit, hit again when I want to unpause. And I can, of course, use the mouse to go into the volume control in YouTube and do everything else I want. Shut down the computer. Amazing, completely free. So if you have a Ubuntu Android combination, your computer is running Ubuntu, your phone is an Android, then you can use your Android to control your Ubuntu PC simply by installing the free unified remote server on the computers you want to control and the unified remote client on the Android devices you want to serve as control surfaces. And it all works pretty amazingly. Thank you guys for watching. For more videos, please feel free to subscribe to this YouTube channel.